think it's time for the who would win of the week. Uh, Sam. Okay, so I didn't know I didn't know how this worked. I didn't know how this worked, so I brought my own. You brought your own. Oh shit! Who would? I'm in. I don't even care. Fuck you. Yeah, it's, I want to uh, hear it. What do it, you got? It's Chris D'Elia versus the Age of Consent. <laughs> what a topical. That's a topical joke for the folks. <laughs> That's a topical joke. Who who wins? Did you write that down or did you just... How long have you been thinking about that joke? I wrote that for down years, after... Actually. Yeah. Because <laughs> when I was 17... No, I wrote that down after <laughs> told me uh what your guys's who would win of the week was i was like oh what if i brought my own and then that's the one i came up with <laughs> that's well that's uh, that's a good honorable mention we always do, honorable, yeah, we're throwing some honorable, honorable mention yeah honorable who mention would honorable the mention Crystalia versus the age of consent versus and i'll say i'll consent. say this i think i'm taking the age of yeah I'm we know who wins it's pretty obvious yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's not much of an argument actually now that i think about it nope um, the age of consent always wins yeah, but that's a, that's the honorable. Not one. up for that. Yeah. Okay. I yeah. don't know. Um, but the actual who would win of the week, or should we call that the actual one? And this one will be the honorable match. <laughs> sure. We're not going to um, talk about that one anymore. But that's yeah, the real one, and yeah. this is the honorable mention. Here's yeah. the honorable. The mention. honorable mention is Chip Hazard from Small Soldiers, leader of the Commando versus. A, a gremlin who's eating after midnight. Mm-hmm. A fully so this is a little retro gremlin. movie, a little throwback movie, young kid throwback movie. Who would win the week this week? Here's what. Here's how I want. Would what I, I want to say to start this off. I think for these two to go at it, we first need to establish a solid setting, and I think that the setting that would benefit both of them the most. Equally is your standard suburban home. Beyblades ring. Circa. <laughs> hey, what did he say? Beyblades ring. Beyblades. That's get them. They're both small enough. We get chip get right yeah. We get a gremlin. Let, em Let rip. it rip. Let it rip. No, yeah. No, but I agree. A, a suburban home. An average two story with a basement. Circa Pick 1984. Yeah. That, so that's, okay. that's the I agree, because then it has a, the right level of technology for, yeah. Yes, exactly. So I'll say it right away. I'm taking Chip. And the reason is because he's fought a, a toy monster race before and succeeded. How Okay, well, the first flaw in that argument is that the Gorgonites... <laughs> Are a yes. peaceful race, so they didn't really fight him that much. A gremlin is completely off the rails. A gremlin has no uh, no morals. Gremlins there. like murder actual people. Yes, gremlins. Gremlins have a body like, they count. Have, the, they have taken human lives. The Gorgonites. I mean, they never. I didn't really think. I didn't think that far into it. I just. Uh... It's true that they are. I like, I, I like his spiky hair. It's true that the Gorgonites are monsters on the outside, Matthew, but on the inside, they are as far from monsters as one could be, and that's I the message of that Is whole it movie. Just... To be honest, I haven't seen Gremlins in so Neither have long. I. These were two movies that I haven't seen. In... I've seen Small Soldiers like within the past three years, probably. Oh yeah, I haven't seen Gremlins in. I watch. I don't even know. Can I ask? It's just years. it's just Chip Hazard versus a Gremlin. Yes. It's just a one on one. One fight. Gremlin. Now one on one fight. Here's 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 what I was kind of thinking about. Obviously, yes, one on one. I think that's. I think we have to say that's the way to do it. In this '80s house, here's the thing: because even though Chip doesn't have his other commandos with him, they do in the movie Small Soldiers make more dolls. They bring some Barbies to life. Oh. I don't remember what they used to I think to do that, that in this case, he's allowed to use everything in the house, but he's not allowed to 
I don't think you can. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. I just want to get that. I just want to get that on the yeah. table because I think that that factors in. Because I mean, he's yeah, he that is, would. Because is, I know he's crafty. He's crafty with the shit. Right. That's, that's why. Crazy. Like he was a guy who like made like all kinds of different weapons out of stuff in the house, yes. right? Or am I yeah. really remembering? And then okay. and you'd make yes, you'd and make that's guns. Kind of my you'd question, make guns. I guess, that I'm bringing up is like. In that situation, would the other dolls that he were to bring to life count as weapons that he constructed? Yeah, I think so. Mm, I think they would. I, we, it's like if you are able to make a robot and bring it to life and have it fight with you. Right. Then, real yeah, steel, but, but that's not fair because why? Uh, I don't know. Let's just say <laughs> that's, 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 that there are no Barbies I think for in argument's house. sake... Let's say there are no Barbies. There's no in the Barbies house. in the house. Yes. Okay. But if they were there, or there's no technology available for him to bring them to life. Okay, sure. How well, did he, he do it can't... in the movie? Let's do say you, that. Do we even remember how he did it in the movie? No, they just lightning. <laughs> they just <laughs> they shoot does. Some lightning into them. <laughs> oh, all right. They don't actually show it. That's how babies are made. No, I'm, I, don't know. <laughs> I think he uses batteries. Somehow he uses batteries, or maybe like a toaster oven. Electricity is involved. I think a toaster oven might be yeah on the right track. I, yeah, so toaster oven sounds right. I I can picture it almost, but the, I don't fucking know. One of the, the questions here is what, one of the things that I'm I'm thinking about when I'm trying to figure out who would win this is you know gremlins aren't dumb. But they're not the brightest either. Like, they do seem to be able to be tricked. And I think that Chip Hazard, I mean, he he's a strategist, right? Like, he, he understands, um, you know, how to... The art of war. Yes, he understands the art of the war. Art of and war. I think that his initial reaction... Pretty much wrote the book. ...is certainly... That's true. <laughs> his initial reaction is certainly to... <laughs> Dive in head first and just blow shit up. But well, what's his catchphrase? Is like, you, isn't it? Um, oh blow God. shit up. Something about having not not having any mercy. Yeah, no, no surrender and no mercy or something like that. It's definitely yeah. no mercy is a part of it. No mercy, no prisoners and no mercy. I don't no. know. Something, <laughs> something like that. Battery's not included, and neither is mercy. <laughs> So it's a gremlin and Chip Hazard. They're going at it. They're in this house. Mm. Sam, do you? What do you think? Do you know who you're picking yet? Uh, not yet. Uh, this is very tough for me because if, like, you look at the tail of the tape, they're both very similarly, like, mat. They match up very well against each other. Mm -hmm. Like, so my mind wasn't. My immediate reaction was just like. I, I just remember gremlins, like we said before, they murdered human beings. That's right. So I, I, I'm i leaning that way, but I could be persuaded. Andrew, who are you taking? I think that I'm going to take the gremlin because if while Chip Hazard can obviously construct – you know, these weapons out of nothing, and I th he'd be able to really hurt the gremlin. I think that the second the gremlin is able to get his hands on Chip Hazard, it's mm -hmm. it's over. He's going to tear him to shreds. Yeah, he's a plastic toy. Yeah, and I mean... I, yeah, but I'm pretty sure that Chip Hazard has lost an arm before. Yes, that's tr he lost, uh, yeah. Or some of his people have lost... Have lost their limbs. Limbs and, and survived. To, to go. It, it took That's like it point. took a major electrocution to finally bring this guy down. That's yeah. true. That's true. He's hard to kill. And gremlins are hard to kill. Yeah. That's how they breed them. And gremlins. See, here's my hmm. thing: is that I don't know. You, go ahead. You got okay. I want you, you got to make a decision. We haven't made an actual decision in like the past, like. Four who would win I'm picking. Weeks. I'm picking Gremlin. So we need a solid. I'm picking the Gremlin. Sam, I think I gotta go Gremlin too. Wow, Sam. All right, I'm sticking with Chip. But that's only because, hey, maybe I love a good underdog story. <laughs> maybe, yeah. I, I like Chip. I want to root for Chip, but I think that the Gremlin uh, take. I think the Gremlin just takes this one. You know, I, I think he. 
uh, I think that it's it would be a, it would be a battle. It would. I think it'd be a really close fight. It'd be a great. It battle. could go. It, it could also, go either way. I think that the the chip chip needs time to build. You know these things. Uh, you know his his weapons and stuff. Um, he needs he needs time to uh, put things together to to organize and stuff like that. I have an idea. Um, but the gremlin. The gremlin doesn't really need that because gremlins they're rav- they're ravenous animals basically, right? So well, what if what if what if um what if Chip just hid in the house until the the gremlin went back to uh do they ever go back to being nice? I don't even remember. Or they always stay evil? No, if once a gremlin goes bad, it's bad for life. There's so no that theory no was invalid. Bad. Nice job, Matt. Way to go, kid. I don't remember. I have I haven't. I, I would the only thing I remember from that movie is they can't be exposed to like sunlight, eat after midnight, yeah, and that they're ugly little bastards once they're evil. Oh, but <laughs> you know what? If they can't, if oh, Chip were able to open up all of the blinds in the house, then he would have the day to oh. construct stuff while the gremlin hid. If he was able to do that, but. I Would he be they... able to figure out that sunlight hurts them? What if you just taped a flashlight to him? That's true, because they don't like bright lights of any kind. The sunlight will yeah. kill them, but the bright light will certainly confuse them. Hmm. But gremlins, all... the first thing that the gremlin's going to do, well, I guess if he has a fl- flashlight, maybe, he might be able to still wait chip out, because the first thing the gremlin's going to do, obviously, is cut the power to the whole house. Yeah, but if he can find a light, a, like a a bright area to work with, he doesn't have to worry about the gremlin interrupting his. Does he have? Does he Does he have the information that gremlins don't like bright lights, or does he have to figure that out on his own? I think he's got to figure that out when they. Meet. I think that he might have figured that out in his recon. Yeah, I think he mission it prior out. to the fight. Yeah. <laughs> I think I think he'd be able um, to get it. So All right, well, I'm, I'm, I don't know. I'm, I'm going still going Gremlin. Chip. I'm going Gremlin just yeah, because that's of fine. the, I'm still, I'm still the Gremlin too. raw, you know, animalistic nature of the Gremlin. And Chip, I mean, he's a, he's a, you know, a worthy opponent. He's a very smart guy. But when it comes right down to it, I think that the the Gremlin's going to be able to is is sneaky enough to get around Chip's defenses and some of his technological advancements and get and get the jump on him take it and take him down fair enough i don't know one day we're gonna have to create an alternate universe where we can have all these who would win of the week yeah, fight we're gonna have to <laughs> like, uh, program some kind of algorithm we could gamble on them yeah yeah to in order to um let's just get a gremlin well, and get chip hazard <laughs> Well, Chip yeah, Hazard's just like we'll just go kidnap Wayne Gretzky and Wayne Brady, and we'll throw them in my trunk. <laughs> yeah, good luck. Yeah. Good luck. You can't kidnap um, Wayne Brady. He's unkidnappable. You can't stop him. Wayne we'll have them all. Brady's we'll put them bitch. all in a Beyblade stadium and have them all fight each other. <laughs> Let it rip. Play it on, motherfuckers. <laughs>